Yo, what is up guys? We're here with the latest sets, Grand Creators, to kick off 2022 with an awesome set. Um, bunch of, uh, you know, bunch of meta cards, bunch of reprints, and a bunch of new waifus, and um, whatever punk is, I don't know, whatever category you put punk in. So uh, let's get into it. All right, so I did want to make some other videos, but then um, I realized that uh, these already came out. So I had to get one of these. I want to get one of these videos as soon as possible to you guys. So here we are, Grand Creators. Let's see what we can pick up here. Always hoping for a um, collector rare. So we know like the whole list now. It's like a lot of Insector cars, a lot of... Um, a lot of uh, the Brave Token cards, which are really good, by the way. Those cards are really, really good. So definitely, if you want to be playing you know, the best of the best, definitely going to be looking into uh, the Brave Tokens. And nice, we got Exosister Vadis for our first super. And all these rares. So I've been wanting to play Exosister to pick up a lot of the cards needed for the deck beforehand, before they came out, you know. Because then when they come out, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people trying them out. And they're going to realize they don't have the cards they need. And nice, look at those Insectors. So they're going to realize they have a, they don't have a lot of the cards that they need. And so when they start going for them, you know, I don't have to worry about competition because I'll already have those cards. It's like a bunch of uh, level 4 monsters that special summon themselves. Uh, that's basically what the whole Exosister deck needs. And so all those like Spirit Charmer cards, um, nice Torrential and Psychic Dragger. But a lot of those Spirit Charmer cards, those beasts that special summon themselves, uh, use those a lot. You could even use like the ZW Ascended Sage. Uh, that's another one you could use. Um, definitely helps a lot. And, oh, huh. There's, I was like wondering, it was like out of order, but we did get a Collector Rare. I definitely forgot to mention that, but I think this is the one of the good ones. I think, I mean, if you control no adventure token, special summon an adventure token. And then if you do not control Fateful Adventure, you can place Fateful Adventure from your deck to face up to your spell and trap zone. Nice. You cannot activate the effects of monsters on the field the turn you activate this card except special summon to monsters. That is interesting. I don't know. Maybe this is good. I think it's good. It sounds good. But the second effect kind of sucks. But... You know, it does take the place of a, uh, I think the, the reason why the Brave Tokens are good is because it kind of just gets you a negate uh, on board, I think is what's so good about it. But I'm not sure if this one's good, I don't know. It is a Collector Rare nonetheless though, so look at that. Yeah, it's nice. Actually, I want to check the back because there's been printing issues. So let's see how they look on the back. Um, yeah, we're looking alright, so not bad. Not bad for a collector rare. Collector rare, correct. Collector rares look pretty good on some cards, so I think this one looks pretty nice overall. All right, well we got a collector rare. Although I want an excess sister collector rare, but you know we can't all be picky, am I right? It was a brave token collector rare, so that is uh, pretty good. Yeah, that was weird. Uh, I was like so confused because usually the hollow was like the fifth slot, and I didn't see one there. So I was like error pack, but no, it's just a collector rare pack. So that makes sense why it was like that. Let's keep it going. Goku pull. Shoutouts to uh, Giant Ballpark deck. Magic Core. Part of the Brave token. I guess it's called Adventurer token uh, in this set. Instead of Brave token. I don't know. Also, same thing. They, I don't know. They changed a lot of these names. Uh, kind of like... Uh, what's the card called? Oh nice, there's our Ultra. So it seems like the Ultra Rares um, are in a different slot than the, uh, the Ultra Rare and Collector Rares are in a different slot than the Rares, which is kind of weird, but I guess it's okay. But we have the Foxy Tune, Punk Foxy Tune for our Ultra here. All right, so yeah, I mean, a bunch of cards here, you know, those name changes like I was saying. Um, Especially uh, the Exo Sisters. A lot of them have just had their names changed. Or I guess changed, but you know, it's like what we, you know, translated it to. And some of them sounded better before. Nice, we have the Jabreen, uh, Irene. I think Irene is one of the ones that changed. Uh, and then the other one is like, 
Um, is it Stella? No, it's not Stella. Elise? I think it's Elise. So I think they just changed the name to be without the E at the end. I don't know. It was something like that. I've seen a bunch of punk cards. And um, I think for this set, we have two more Ultras, I believe. That's how this is. I think it's three Ultras per box. So I think this is our Ultra pack right here. Fateful Adventure. We are getting all those Brave Token stuff, or Adventure Token. I'm going to keep... Brave sounds better. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But Fateful Adventure. If you guys have not read these cards, these cards are good. You know, once per turn, the first time a monster you control equipped with an equip spell would be destroyed, it is not destroyed. So that part's not really too uh, too useful. <clears throat> but you can only use each of the following effects of Adventure or Fateful Adventure once per turn. During your main phase, you can add one monster that mentions Adventure Token from your deck to your hand. So this is going to be used to search for the Omni Negate. I think it's uh, I think it's Griffin. I think that's the one. And then send one card from your hand to the graveyard. If a monster is special or normal summon or special summon, you can take one equipped spell that mentions adventure token from your deck and either add it to your hand or equip it to one adventure token. Nice. And Psalm Strike, definitely a nice reprint. But yeah, I think these, I'm pretty sure you play these. I don't know. You play them to a certain capacity, but it's mostly to get to the end goal of having the Omni Negate on board for you to play through like a. Uh, to play through like an interruption or a hand trap or something like that. So it's pretty good. Although, yeah, don't ask me about ratios because I don't know which one you play. Nice, another punk card. Probably the only archetype in here I won't try is the punk. I'm not really too sold on them. Uh, they're definitely the weakest of the three in here. But, you know, maybe I might try them at some point because we're getting quite a bit of them. Nice, and look at that Draco back, the rideable dragon. Nice, that's a bounce. Some of them, it's a pretty cool archetype, the uh, the adventurer token archetype. It's kind of just like, I think it's based off a like uh, like an isekai, is pretty much what they're trying to do. Is that the token is like someone who's been transported to another world, and then um, you know all this stuff that they get is the uh, those equips and all that. And oh, really? That is crazy. We. <laughs> We pulled like literally, I think all the like good adventure token cards. But nice, if you control an adventure token, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can banish this card from your hand or graveyard. Add one right of Aramisir from your deck or graveyard to your hand. And if you control an adventure token, you can place one field spell that mentions adventure token from your deck face up in the field zone. So I mean, yeah, they all search each other from what it seems like. And this one comes in a collector rare too. I don't know if Faithful Adventure does, it might, but, you know. But wow, we literally straight up got the, uh, almost the whole engine here. Just like that. That's, that's pretty crazy. It's not even the deck I wanted to play the most. I wanted to play Exosisters, but instead we got, um, instead we got all the, the Brave Token cards. Let's keep it going. We're doing pretty good. Magic Core, Warrior of the Relics, Riskful of Star Jester, Insect Imitation. Armory Call and Zaralam the Dark Palace. Yeah. Konami is really uh, upping their uh, their archetypes game. Uh, recently, I'm, I've been liking all the archetypes. And here we go. Here is the card. I think this is the card of the hour here. During the main phase, you control no monsters or control an, an adventure token. So that's why you need the token out. You can special summon this card from your hand. When a card or effect is activated while you control an adventure token, you can shuffle this card into the deck, and if you do, negate that activation. If you do that, destroy that card. So basically, um, this allows like any deck to have like a negate for free, which is pretty strong. Nice on the strike. So I mean, here that's like the package right there. I'm pretty sure. You maybe maybe like one of them you don't play. I think, but you're definitely just trying to play like three of of like the search to get the Griffin, and then that's it. That's all you need. You have the whole uh, package right there. So it just allows your deck to play through a. Uh, a hand trap or interruption when some decks just straight up lose to that like I don't know a lot of decks just lose to just one interruption like like a normal summon deck you know what I'm saying maybe you're trying to prevent your uh, your Alistair from getting negated I don't know something like that or definitely any deck that uh, wants to prevent a uh... oh nice at least that's what I'm talking about they remove like the E I think 
But any deck that doesn't want to get drolled or something can definitely play the Brave Token Engine. And it doesn't special summon from uh, an extra deck too, so that bypasses some restrictions on some decks. And then another Exosister Asophiel. Asophiel. Yeah, we're going to go with that. We're starting to get some of those Exosister cards. So Exosister is actually looking pretty budget if you want to build it. Um, I think there are two, no, three. Three Ultra Rares? I think there's three Ultra Rares, so maybe it isn't actually, now that I think about it. Look, all, of the, all the Exosisters are coming through now, and our playset of Strike, definitely worth it if you uh, are, are needing Solemn Strikes, because they were like $5 each, and so now you can, um, you know, now you can just get your playset for like, you know, a dollar or less. That's pretty good. And with those Exosister cards, uh, I really like the deck, but... Uh, they just straight up lose to certain decks. Like if your opponent does not play around with the graveyard in any way, you lose. Like that's, it's it's terrible. But if your opponent plays around in the extra deck, not extra deck, the graveyard a bunch, then it could be like a rogue to your deck. But if it doesn't, it's it's pretty bad. Like really bad. Nice. We're getting all the Exo Sisters now. Got another one of those rideable dragons. And last pack, we already pulled a collector rare, so I don't really see us getting anywhere. You know, good with this last pack, but I don't know. We'll see. Ties of the Brethren, Emergency Teleport, and a Noah or No Punk Z. I mean, a Torrential Tribute, and another Strike. Another Strike. You definitely get these. If you guys don't have your playset, what are you doing? This is a this is a staple, and any deck can play Solemn Strike. It's just that good. All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for the video. Let me know what you guys think about these cards. I definitely am liking the uh, the Brave Token Adventure Token cards. Along with this uh, collector rare too. Look at that. Hmm. That looks pretty nice. Look at all that. I really like that. And also the Exo Sisters. I'm definitely gonna be playing the Exo Sisters. Uh, you bet your uh, bet yourself that I'm gonna be going in on these. Like I said, I already got those cards ready. Uh, now I just need to pick up, you know, some of the the, the cards I didn't get. Those ultras I didn't get. I just need them now. <laughs> So that's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this set, and uh, I'll see you guys later. So, peace out.